welcome to the SBR Stu YouTube channel. Uh, I'm here in the garage, uh, just about to have a bit of a tidy up, so I just thought I'd have a quick run through uh, and see what we've got in here. So here we have uh, Jenna's Calendale Synapse. Uh, I think it's got a Tiagra group set. Uh, I've got it on a uh, Computrainer, uh, which I find is really helpful uh, for doing cadence and pedal efficiency. Uh, I bought it because uh, I'm going to start looking at doing bike fits. I've uh, been on a bike fit course, uh, so this box is set up on here uh, just as a bit of a practice. Uh, but what I need to do with this bike is go and stick it up uh, on a rack over in the corner there and get it out of the way. So here's a better look at the Compu Trainer. Uh, I think it's a great bit of kit. It comes with a nice old school bike computer and it'll tell you all about your cadence and your speed. Uh, really helpful for yeah doing bike fits. So who doesn't have a, a laser level in their garage uh, to line up hips uh, and make sure you're stable on the bike? Uh, a great, great bit of a kit. Here we have my £50 special off eBay. Uh, I'd say I'd call it my winter bike slash my jump bike. Uh, it's had everything replaced, everything changed. It's just an absolute mixture of everything. Uh, so many different parts and components. Uh, sort of keep it going every single winter. Uh, means I don't have to worry about it. I can just enjoy it and trash it. Uh, but it's been a great bike over the last sort of uh, three or four years. Cheap and cheerful, I think the words are. So up on the wall we've got uh, my Boardman Air, uh, sort of summer bike slash aero bike. Uh, picked it up again off eBay. Uh, £600 special, but it goes like a rocket ship uh, and I'm not really in any hurry to change it or upgrade it. And then we've got Jenna's uh, Liv uh, Langema, uh, it, which is just a phenomenal bike. I think we'll probably just have to do a, a video probably just on that. Beautiful looking bike, Ultegra, uh, disc brakes, uh, absolute dream of a ride. So they're sort of all hung up, waiting for the better weather uh, when we can ride again. I'm sure everyone's like me and Jenna, who's got a whole rack of uh, sort of running shoes uh, so we can sort of switch one out for the other have a couple on the on the go at the same time uh, i'm a big fan of asics so you'll probably find on here it's mainly asics gt 2000s uh, they seem to work for me uh, and jenna's a big fan of the ultras and then the our more expensive sort of shoes like the carbon shoes tend to be kept in the house because they're obviously not running as often as these ones are. These are out pretty much every, every sort of other day, so they need to be uh, somewhere where we can grab hold of them. And here's my pride and joy, my Canyon Speedmax uh, on the Wahoo Kicker, uh, linked up to Gemini Zwift. A lot of time spent on this bike over the winter. Uh, try and get it out as much as I can in the summer. Absolutely love riding this bike. Uh, so what I used to have in here was a split screen camper van. Uh, it was one of my big hobbies. Uh, bought the house, uh, made to have the garage for a split screen uh, and we decided to sell it uh, six or seven years ago uh, just through lack of use. Uh, so yeah, turned it into a bit, bit more of a workout room. Lots of sets of wheels, we've got a couple of sets up there. We've got a couple of sets down here. Can't have enough wheels. So here we have the dry rope, but as we discovered in the last video, uh, I'm not really a cold water swimmer, so yeah, generally just go when it's nice and warm, so there isn't much need for me to wear that. So we've now got a bit more space there, get that stretching done, that foam roller, it uh, needs a bit tidy. Next job's up, 
paint the walls white, I think. So thank you for watching this video. Uh, I suppose I better put the camera down really and uh, actually start doing some tidying and have a bit of a clear up. Uh, if you like this video, please like and subscribe. Uh, and I'd love to hear uh, below the comments of uh, what you think of our training room and uh, if you can think of any improvements that we need to make.